NASA could make history today if its latest Mars lander successfully touches down on the red planet. For the first time, scientists will study not just the planet's surface, but also its core. The InSight lander is set to land just before 3 p.m. Eastern time after traveling almost 300 million miles. Jamie Ucas is at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. Jamie, good morning. Good morning. This is a scale model of the spacecraft. Its wingspan is 19 feet long. That's about the size of a 1960s convertible. Only 40% of the last 44 missions to Mars have been successful. And this lander will face temperatures in the thousands before touching down. Zero. After six and a half months of space travel, InSight's big day is finally here. Years of hard work will come down to seven crucial minutes. It's called the seven minutes of terror because it is, everything has to go perfectly in the seven minutes from the top of the atmosphere down to landing. The spacecraft will enter Mars's atmosphere at more than 12,000 miles per hour, heating the vessel's shields to some 2,700 degrees. It will slow to less than 300 miles per hour once the parachute is deployed. Then it will release its heat shield. Three legs will pop out and small rockets will slow the spacecraft to about three miles per hour before it lands. So we can't control the vehicle from Earth. We can't use a joystick to land. The computer on board the spacecraft has to do everything perfectly uh, to get it to the surface. Over the coming months, the lander's robotic arm will deploy one device to monitor seismic activity and another to dig 16 feet below the planet's surface to measure Mars's internal temperature. We have lots of missions that have looked at the outside, but one of the big unknowns is what does the inside look like? Whether the core is solid or liquid, those types of questions are really important for understanding how the planet, what it looked like when it first formed and how it got to be where it is today. Because Mars and Earth were created from the same materials billions of years ago, scientists say studying Mars's interior could help them understand how Earth was formed and later evolved. The mission will also allow them to learn more about the safest way to enter Mars's atmosphere and land to prepare for the next big step in exploring the planet. The better we understand that environment at Mars, what Mars is like and how we can land, we'll be better prepared to send humans to Mars in the future. The first job for the lander will be to take a photo of the planet's surface. Once that happens, it's going to get very loud in here. People say it sounds like the winning touchdown of the Super Bowl when that happens. And the spacecraft will be very busy over the next Martian year, which for us, Nora, means November of 2020. So cool, Jamie. Thank you. We should mention you can see live coverage of the landing on our streaming network, CBSN. That is just before 3 p.m. Eastern this afternoon. And I know some people at this table are going to be watching. <laughs> My six-year-old will be sure. now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And waiting for that first transmission of the picture because there will be a period where they know it will have started, but mm -hmm. they won't have gotten the confirmation of the picture. And that's when everybody will be up I'm, on tiptoe. Okay, because yeah. I'm trying to think, now, what's the terror part? It's for the NASA control room that everything has yeah. to go right. So. Right, Picture. We want them to be spared the yeah, seven minutes. Terror, terror that the picture might not come through. Yeah. Well, yeah. I like to see NASA get excited. So let's see how this all turns out. Mm -hmm.